ladies and gentlemen, the first ever edition of GOC Rise. I am Liam, accompanied by my broadcast partner for this series. This episode uh, is Kelvin, and we are live from Brooklyn, New York, the Fight Club. Indeed, indeed. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes, uh, this is a brand new spanking new show, and uh, this show will just consist of me and Kelvin. And uh, on top of that, the regular GOC shows will be me and Arvin. And then pay-per-view-wise, the plan is hopefully all three of us can come together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I, I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but is this the man? The myth? The, the legend? fucking legend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Lucha's number one, Regalo Vuelo. Mm-hmm. Uh, m- m- many of you might not know who Regalo Vuelo is, but uh, we, we know we know our CAW history here, us uh, commentators here. Uh, 2K17, Regalo Vuelo. He is here. On 2K22, and his opponent is uh, quite the wild card here, Black Jaguar. Mm. I love his look. I, it's yes. a very good look. Roar. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Jaguar. Jaguars they roar. Do. Yeah, they do very hard. Very roar. Yeah. So uh, what? what's the premise to, to Rise? Uh, you yeah. want to explain the premise to Rise? Well, we're here to just uh, showcase some up-and-coming talent that needs to be showcased, as well as establish some uh, wins, losses, you know? So, uh, people that aren't showcased as much on the actual GOC show will be here on Rise to, you know, make their name, if you will. And But, but even though that is the case, don't think that we won't have some special visitors. Mm. So, you know, we could, we could see a Ricky Alexander maybe show up on an episode. Who knows? That'd be interesting. So the title yeah. defense. Mm. Hey, you're you're putting some energy out there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you take but, a break uh, from uh, lifting. Uh, lifting a some lot weights. Of steaks. Oh, that too. Weights and steaks. <laughs> weights and steaks. That's the Ricky Alexander way. The Iron but, Shoulders uh, of Ricky Alexander. The Iron Man. Mm-hmm. But a uh, black jaguar here. These two. Um, I'd assume they have a background in Lucha. Uh, Black Jaguar is heavily inspired by uh, a tiger mask mm. from Japan, and Regalo Vuelo is the uh, self-proclaimed Lucha's number one. I believe Regalo Vuelo means flying gift. Indeed, the Google Translate version, yes. Y- yes, the Google Translate version. So uh, don't let that uh, obscure your uh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, Black Jaguar, oh, oh, hmm. smug. Disrespectful. I like it. I like it. And he's a he's a a moxie jaguar. Very sassy. Yes, yeah, very sassy. Oh, what a tiger mm. suplex! That was very clean. A jaguar suplex. Oh, on high risk already. My God. Oh, Ooh. but we're keeping a classic with the double yeah. axe handle. Yeah, that's old look, school. Wow. That's old school right there. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, just just looking at Regalo Vuelo as he's down. And, oh, now Don't working work. on the legs. Oh! Mm. Limb no. targeting. Yeah, a lot of limb targeting. He understands what he's doing. He seems, he seems he's been around for a while. Um, yes, I. he may or may not be from... Um, uh, well, GOC has a uh, talent exchange program uh, with the uh, WCW, NWO, N64 realm. Mm. Uh, Black Jaguar may or may not be a part of that. I see. So, um, you know, he is tenured. Oh, my! Oh, what? Oh, okay. He went down from it. Uh, that sounded that was something. Brutal. And wait a minute, Black Jaguar. Oh, oh! Where's Arvid when you need him? Oh, the most electrifying moment. <laughs> The oh, single like Boston it. Crab. Oh wow. He's out of it. He's out of it. My God. You know, the only people to successfully win a match off of the single leg Boston Crab is Arvin Raja as well as Francine Goddess. So only two to do it. Black Jaguar, not one of them. Let's hope we get no yeah. more. Yep. Yeah. Golf Whale going up top. Whoa. Whoa! Ooh, beautiful arm drag. Nice from the flying gift from Google Translate. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, he's not afraid to get a little dirty here. He was pinned. 
That was Foxy. Two. Oh. Okay. Okay. Close call there for Black Jaguar. Almost. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. with the kicks and the chops and the chops. Mm. Oh. Oh. Looks like he was oh. Kind of, trying to go high risk again, but interrupted. It doesn't matter. Galovuelo is. Ooh. Dragon screw. Working on oh, the leg as well. One of his own. Mm-hmm. Now oh, both my collar and elbow. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, He's boy. walking him. Oh wow. Well done. Getting the crowd the, hype. Yeah, walking the ropes just beautifully. Okay. Oh. Alright. Uh, you, you win some, you lose some. That's why uh, we're on You can get all of it, yeah. You perfect your craft here. Oh! Oh my goodness. Nice move there from Black Jaguar. I hope to see Black Jaguar uh, ma many more times. Yeah, he's very oh, good. Oh wow. He's very, again, like I said, very well versed. He has a lot of different moves. He doesn't even have to consist of Lucha. Very technical. Ooh. Oh, clubbing blow. Oh, but Regalavuelo oh. answers back. Oh. Damn. Interesting. These moves. One, two, only a two count. Regalo Vuelo now. Yeah. Going up to the top. What does the flying gift have in store? Oh! Picture perfect moonsault. One, two, no! That was very close. Very close for Black Jaguar. Galavuelo in disbelief. He doesn't know how he didn't win there. What the? Oh my what god! The f <laughs> he just spit Codebreaker? I don't know what just happened there. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> okay. The, f the flying gift. Oh my, oh god. my god! One, two, that's it! That was an inverted Phoenix Splash! May I just say, that Codebreaker was something. That was... that was one of the most unique moves I think I've seen. <laughs> Damn! What is that? That's insane! <laughs> wow. The... Google Translate's Fly Gift! Oh Regalovuelo! My, oh my god. Yes, he is worthy of the name. Especially with that move. Oh my god. Like good, a, good for Hidalgo Vuelo. Like a flying dove. Yeah. Hopefully, that hey, was, I'm calling it. Future champ. He's, he's, he's getting the crowd hype here. Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> I hope to see does. much more. I hope to see much more of both men. But coming up next, we have Charlie June taking on Samurai. Riley. This should be a uh, pretty good match. Charlie June has been proving herself. She hasn't won yet, but she has been on episodes of GOC. Uh, two matches, I believe, but just came so close, but no cigar on the losing end there. But b both matches he's had on the main roster here have oh, been uh, oh, very impressive. So, so motion. Okay. John Morrison. Yeah. Going at about 10 frames a second. She wants you to appreciate her beauty. If I'm not mistaken, didn't Charlie June take uh, the champion to, to like, the limits? Yeah, to the limit. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that one was... of the matches were with Amai Cash. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was that was a hell of a match. I remember that. That was very much back and forth. Hopefully, Hopefully uh, she can get a win. Yeah, agreed. I think it'll happen. I don't see why not. I think it'll happen. But with the wild card, uh, Samurai Riley, who have uh, we've never seen here in GOC. She's making her debut here. Say yeah! Yeah! Come on, come on! Let's see what this is about here. Wow. Blues immediately. Well, Samurai Riley not really uh, appreciated here Much in the Fight Club. Yeah. The uh, the GOC Brooklyn Fight Club, new home for GOC Rising. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, maybe an episode of GOC can happen here. Who knows? Hey, anything can happen. She's very, uh, this woman's very unique. Yeah, I see, um, finding some demons there. I don't know the whole story behind it, but... She might be the demon. I, yeah, sure looks like it. Oh, oh my. Someone give her of, medication. A lot of, um... Yeah. It's a lot of aggression right. there. Well, let's see if this oh, match... Oh, she wrestles with the mask. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Oh. All right. Oh. Ladies are not wasting any time here. My God. Samurai Riley's just going to town. Oh, our, meeting of the minds. Our, all right. It's okay. It's Rise. Yeah, it's Rise, you know. Perfect your craft, ladies. Nice. Oh. Very aggressive. Oh. A lot of striking going on here. I got a feeling this match is going to be very aggressive. Yeah, it's going to be brutal. Charlie June getting the better with that arm bar or arm thing. Oh. Saving Grace! Mm. Or, uh, what does Finn call it? 1916? I don't yeah. know. Oh! oh. Caught, her, caught Charlie June mid air. And hey, you know what? That's what happens when you're part samurai. Why you ever seen a... Samurai Jack? I have. Yeah. It's a great show. Beautiful show. Oh my oh god, my... again. 1916. Oh, man. I'm, I'm hoping it's 1916. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. But Charlie June feeling it. Now, another collar and elbow. Fireman's carry position. It's a bit of a size Charlie advantage June. Here. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, Charlie June. What um, the fuck would just happen? Okay, all right. She's a samurai. <laughs> Charlie June, as we were saying before, Samurai Riley just threw us completely off guard there. Yeah, uh, Charlie fast. June, the bigger of the two. She is very fast. Oh. K Rate. Oh. That didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. Charlie June kind of oh. ate that kick, and again, bringing the arm. Just working on the arms. Seems Charlie June. Oh, I was about to say, but Samurai Riley taking it with the leg screw there. Ooh. Mm. Work on the same Work leg on. still. Working on that leg, yeah. Gotta yeah. keep her uh, grounded. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, we got a nice Achilles lock or something locked mm. in, but Charlie June gets Ain't right out of it bar. using the other. A knee bar. Oh, not even oh. a one count. Jesus. No, it's just getting started. Oh! Sound a little stiff. What? What the f- mm. Just tossing the Samurai Riley around, my word. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. What's going on here? Backflip into a Athleticism! Oh, but I'll cover what? That should be a rope break, too? No. Oh. It's Rise. The ref is also <laughs> in yeah. development. Uh, rise. Yeah, the he's the twin ref of our current ref on the main roster. He's getting some work in. What the oh, fuck was oh, that? Oh, my God. One, two. No. Oh, how did she kick out of that? She turned her into a pretzel. Could have broke her neck. The, the crouch hitting women's wrestling. 450. Oh! It's no avail. The knees up. Oh. Oh, Samurai. Oh. oh my god, this is stiff. She's getting stiff as hell here. Oh, oh, she misses the kick. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Damn. These women Samurai do not like each other. Yeah, she's had enough. Oh, look at that. Tell her to bring it. That was toying with her. Yeah. Jeez. Let's keep her in this corner, too. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, we... oh wow. A nice maneuver there by Samurai. One, two. No. Ooh. That was close. The black sheep almost lost there. Yeah. Now what's Samurai gonna do? No! Oh! Double stomp to the belly of Charlie June. Right to the belly. Oh, she's oh. Sabu. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, nice jawbreaker there by Charlie June. Trying to get back into things. Oh, fairy tale ending! 
Or angel's wings, whatever you want to call it. Oh, here we go. Once again. Backflip. Another? German. Oh. One. Two. No! Wow. Oh my god. Her foot's on the rope. Even though she wasn't getting pinned. Oh. 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 Damn. The athleticism Wait. on Charlie Ju- Oh, she's not done. Oh, 450! What? <laughs> Holy hell, one! Two! Oh! oh God. Okay, the athleticism on Rise is actually bonkers. It, it, this might be the show. This okay. might be the show. Oh my god. Oh, oh, please, don't give me another top over mover. I've had enough. Enough! Fox Splash! Oh, wow. Holy Whoa. shit! Oh my god. Can we take it easy? These two women are going balls to the walls! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, it's just relentless. It's it's non-stop. I'm gonna need a pacemaker after this one. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think I think people heard that. Yeah. We're in Brooklyn. They heard that all the way in Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh. Oh, fuck the steps. Forget the steps. Oh. The floor, damn it, the floor! She's still flipping. How oh, is she flipping? I don't know what's happening. She's gonna rip oh her arm gosh. out of her arm. Six. I count of six here. This lady's gotta get into the ring. Gotta finish this up in the ring, y'all. Nope. That's it seems that Samurai is immune to the steps. Uh, indeed. That's a hell of a superpower. Oh, oh fuck! Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> Man, I'm coughing from this match. These two are. women are just beating the shit out of each other. Oh, this should have been a false count. Oh my god! Oh, this should have been a false count anywhere. Oh, she's oh, down low! Come on! That's low. Oh, god. Come on. So stiff. None this is the epitome of strong back. style. Yeah. It's on another level of strong style. Oh, that's a maneuver. What's Charlie going for? Oh. Oh, a oh. again? Oh, oh, that's gotta be it. Come on, ref, take us on. One, home. two, three. There it is. My god. Match of the night. Uh, yeah, I need a rematch. I don't even see the main event. Match of the night so far. Wow. This is a hell of a camera and, angle. Yeah, the one thing about the Fight Club, we have to work out the kinks of the camera angles. It's alright, Michael will figure it out. Yeah, Michael. But what a match. It seems Charlie June has no music, but that's alright. I doesn't need it. Yeah, doesn't that, need it. after the that one. of the crowd is enough. Yes, that is her theme song here. After that banger of a match. Wow. But uh Charlie June finally gets her name in the victory books. But coming up next. We got Damian King taking on Anthony Jordan, the main event. Now, both of these men are part of their respective teams. Uh, Anthony Jordan, and there he is, Kevin Kaplan, their team. Uh, Anthony Jordan will be representing this team in some one-on-one -on -one action. And uh, Damian King will be uh, representing the Misfits uh, with his tag partner, Adonis Scott. Interesting. Okay. So, not, some, not tag team action, but... Uh, so one on one action. here. Yeah, just, uh, again, rise. Yeah, you know, you gotta gotta rise to the occasion. Now remind me. What yeah. happened to the boss of Anthony Jordan and Captain? He Either. could still be lurking. He could I don't know. He could still be lurking around here. Uh We haven't seen him in quite some time. Yeah, uh, it has been a while. To be fair, we haven't seen uh, Anthony Jordan and Kevin Kaplan either for maybe like two, three weeks as this whole tag team division's getting underway, showcasing uh, two tag teams every episode. So this is good for them to get their face out there. And uh, as for the boss, I, I mean, for all I know, this boss could be in their ears still. Mm. 
what we're going to see here. Anthony Jordan and Kevin Kaplan have been ruthless as they can be as of late. But here comes Damian King accompanied by his partner Adonis Sky. Adonis Sky is in some comfortable clothing. I see, yeah. I was about to say, very nice clothing. Yes. This is, this is about Damian King though, of course. You know. Yes. This is, this now, is an interesting matchup, honestly. Now, Damian King, his attire, very similar to the whole aesthetic here of GOC Rise. Does that come into play as advantage? Maybe. Camouflage. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Donna Sky is saying, shh. See these two about to be in action here, Damian King and Anthony Jordan. Do you have any, uh, do you know anything about Anthony Jordan? Um, I mostly know that, you know, he's part of, he's a part of that group and that he's an amateur wrestler. Um, a good mm -hmm. one at that. But, uh, oh. yeah, he just hasn't been around as much lately, so hopefully, oh my god. Forget oh. everything I just said. That was, yeah, Damian King Damian, might have something to say there. Yeah, Damian King might, might got this one in the bag. The last time we saw Anthony Jordan in action, he took on uh, Ricky Alexander. Oh, actually, no, he was in a tag match against the the unlikely duo of uh, you know I can't think of their names right now. But uh, the last time Anthony Jordan was in one on one action, uh, he took on Ricky Alexander in a GOC Open Title or Open Challenge for the title. Mm. He came out on the losing end. Yeah, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I mean, a anyone's on the losing end. Hopefully, I don't know, Jalen Carter might have something to say about that. Hey, man, who knows? That, that, that's a, definitely a David versus Goliath matchup going on there. I mean, anyone against Ricky Alexander is David versus Goliath, but I digress. Well, Anthony Jordan looking to rewrite that wrong here. Maybe possibly get a victory, but Damian King, his first one-on-one -on -one match here, might be looking to do the same. Actually, might not. It might not even the word. He's looking to do the same. Yeah. I was gonna say both of these men could really use this one. Just give them momentum, especially going into the oh! the tag title uh, division, going up the rankings. Who do you th who do, who's your pick for the tag team so far that you've seen? Um, I'm really not sure, but I am curious on what's going on with uh, Jax Wolf and uh, who's his partner again? Oh, Adam Blade. Yeah, I'm very curious on that as well because if they if they become a tag team, that might be my pick. They might take it. Yeah. Oh, nice. on the leg. Is that what that was? Kinda. I don't know. He, he reacted to it. Oh, a nice dragon sleeper here by Anthony Jordan. Yeah, there you go. Let's stick to some wrestling there, Anthony Jordan. Come on. <clears throat> oh, Damian King gets out of it, though. Oh, oh, God. That was a haymaker. Apparently, uh, the boss has been showing him some new tricks. Yeah. Oh. Mm. They're nice. It's bandaged up, so... Oh! He might know something we don't. Yeah, maybe he has an injury. One, two... No. It's Kevin Kaplan looking on with his arms crossed. Pretty smug. Ooh. Oh! oh almost gave did him that a hit kiss. Him? Yeah, I don't know. He may have. I don't know what oh. that was about. And that kiss has motivated Anthony Jordan! <laughs> Anthony here. Jordan, what do we got? Oh! oh wow. What a maneuver. I don't even know what to call that. Straight jacket neck breaker? I don't even That was brutal. Yeah, you could. That seems pretty right. Oh, Shining Wizard! As Anthony Jordan picks up Damian King. Oh, we've seen this from Anthony Jordan before. Double underhook, pile driver! That could do it. Oh. And he's moonwalking. Oh. And oh. he's talking. Oh, he's not done. He's not <gasps> don't, oh, don't call the comeback! That might be it! One, two, three! Wow. Anthony Jordan giving his team some momentum. That was a and that was that was that victory was undisputed. That that was just Clean as days. It's the boss. The boss is getting to them. Damn. I mean, if you have a boss that routinely kicks the shit out of you, yeah. And I was gonna comment. That's a I was gonna say frustration. His, his. He looks better. He looks like his his, his technique is there, and 
Well, prove, prove me right there. I mean, Jesus. A lot of training well, we know going since, on on that, on that side. Yes. Since Kevin Kaplan lost in the tournament, we saw uh, the boss beat the shit out of him, so... I'd assume since Anthony Jordan lost to Ricky Alexander, the same thing happened. But uh, now, these two seem to be on a train taking them to victory. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for the first episode of GOC Rise. I'm Liam, accompanied by Kelvin, and we will see you on a GOC episode 16, or I will, and uh, Kelvin will see you on the next episode of Rise.